This video shows you how to set up a Quattropy Luxury round glass dining table set with premium base and its kitchen four-seater premium velvet lucency color chairs. The dining table round glass top has got a gross weight of 41 kg. Without the box, it's got a net weight of 36.5 kg. The dining table base has got a net weight of 28.4 kg. So you definitely need an extra pair of hands for the glass top and the base to put them together. The grey fabric gold frame dining table chair has got a net weight of 10 kg. So the assembly of all four dining table chair sets could be done by one person. But the assembly process could be a lot faster if you have an extra pair of hands. So I will be unboxing the first grey fabric gold frame dining table chair out of the quantity of four dining chairs that we've got. So I will be utilising a Stanley knife to get off all of the masking tape on all of the packaging. Okay. Do ensure that when undoing the packaging that you salvage or retrieve the bolts, the washers that would be used to fasten the base of the chair onto um, the grey fabric, okay? Suffice to say, take cognizance of any standard parts, accessories or subcomponents that would be used in the assembly process. And also make sure that when you're getting off the white packaging from the chair frame that you do not scratch, you know, the golden finish with your Stanley knife and so once we have retrieved the commercial of the shelf parts or the standard parts accessories that will be used in securing the base frame of the chair to the great fabric chair seat you know the accessories is contained in this red packaging the golden frame base has got you know nice rubbery feet you know to prevent scratching on the floor so you, you need not worry so much okay the next step of the process would be to flip the gray seat over and you know stack or latch the golden frame onto the grayish lucency seat from whence i could top tighten the bolts onto the golden frame with my allen screw bit as opposed to using the conventional allen key so this fits perfectly into the bolt i will be using this you know to um top tighten the bolts and washers onto the frame if it doesn't fit you know just make sure you find you know the respective screw allen that fits you know into your bolt okay but this fits perfectly i've inserted it into the chuck of the drill make sure it's centralized um, very good speed to one, you know, and we're pretty much set for screwing or top tightening then bolt onto the base frame. And so, as previously highlighted, latch or slave the golden chair base frame onto the grey seat. The next step of the process would be to hand tighten them slave bolt into them four respective hold positions. And if I zoom out, you can just about see the respective holes in which them bolts key into or screw into. The hold positions are definitely threaded, so not to worry. So here I will be hand tightening all them bolts in first. You know, using reasonable force with the required, you know, tension or force. You know, but not overly top tightening them down with me hand. Then subsequently use the drill to top tighten the screws um, down from their respective um, slave positions so that you know it's fully assembled and has a rigid connection so i will repeat the same process for the three other respective bolt slave positions you know making sure that you know they are adequately top tightened so i haven't overly top tightened all four bolts i have top tightened only to a reasonable degree okay so that I've got, you know, some room to use the conventional Allen key to hand tighten eventually to prevent, you know, the chamfering, the chaffing or, or the debearing of the bald head. And, you know, if you've got a very soft metal, you don't want that to, to be squashed, okay? So pretty much you're just preserving the useful life of the key slot on the bald head. You don't want, to, you don't want it to be free spinning when you're trying to top tighten down. 
the design and the appearance of the chair is grandiose, resplendent, you know, pretty much would blow anyone's um, socks off. So I will replicate or repeat and reproduce the process for the other three dining table chairs. The next step of the process would be to assemble the dining table glass top onto the dining table base. The net weight of the glass top is about 36 kg, whereas the weight of the base is about 28 kg. So you will definitely need an extra pair of hands for, for the lifting, especially the glass top, as you do not want to crack on them or scratch them. So the next step would be to take off the packaging from the base and the glass top. This would also be a very good time to give the inside of the dining table base a good clean because once you've placed the glass top over it and fastened, you know, all them bolts, um, you know, onto the base and the glass top, you wouldn't necessarily be able to get in there to, to clean except you um, pass your hand, you know, through the gold curved vertical rods in the flawless open cage design which supports the round tempered glass top with respect to the reach that in itself is limited so best to give it a good clean with a microfiber cloth in real time as opposed to post assembly so i have undone the base from the packaging the next step would be to undo the glass top from its packaging okay the circumference diameter of the glass top is 137 centimeter. So when you're purchasing your dining table, just take that into account as well, okay? Especially if you've got a very small kitchen. But if you've got, you know, enough room in your kitchen, you know, by and large, you know, by, you know, you might as well get the 137 centimeter glass top. So the next step would be to latch on or place the glass top on the six respective slotted hold positions of the dining table base. They must key in into their respective slot positions so that that would enable um, the fastening of them bolts onto the glass top and the base, okay? So underneath the dining table base, I have applied a felt pad, heavy duty, self-adhesive furniture protector which helps with protecting against cuts and scratches, especially on laminates and wood floors, you know, arising from your dining table or, you know, just traction usage and wear and tear. So I will be retrofitting these underneath the base of the dining table. It doesn't come with, with the dining table. This is just for extra precautions, okay? So that, you know, I do not get any damage on the carpet, okay? when there is play or when the furniture is being moved around if you find the self-adhesive felt pads you know surplus to requirements you know you could just split it, split it into two with the aid of a scissors and you know um, apply them or attach them where necessary the next step would be to slave both the bolts and their respective washers in the six off hold positions and you know tuck tight in with the aid of your drill which encompasses your magnetic bit holder your allen screw bit so be very careful when you tuck tight in them bolts you know onto the base gold frame when using your automated drill as opposed to your conventional allen key so the aim is to slave them bolts into position do not tuck tighten all the way down to prevent cracking of the glass. Then finish off, you know, the tuck tightening with the aid of your conventional Allen keys. When you hand tighten at the end of the tuck tightening process, you get a feel of the tension, the tuck force that is actually required to form a rigid connection. If you use an automated drill, that's doing the work for you. You can't get the feel of it and you might just overly tuck tighten, which may result in cracking of the glass. It may likely not happen, but you want to take precautions as doing it that way may invalidate your insurance or the warranty on your set if you took any out when purchasing your set the next step would be to repeat the process for the other five respective hold positions um, underneath the glass top and on top of the dining table base once the six off holes have been tucked tight in the assembly process is complete 
And my take on this, you know, the design and the appeal of the four-seater, you know, feels debonair and glamorous without being ostentatious. The Lucency grey velvet collar and material, you know, has got a good feel to it, you know, of luxury and feels quite poised, sturdy and comfy. It's got a simple, classy and exotic design feel to it and can easily blend, you know, with any focal wall, okay? You know, provided you get the right flower combination in your vase, but this is for demonstration purposes. It's got a nice blended feel of gold to it. It doesn't look bronze or tacky in real time. It definitely does have, you know, a classic and exotic look to it. As, you know, the legs on the grey seats have two legs that are crossed over and two legs that are at 90 degrees or perpendicular to the floor surface. And, you know, again, gives it, you know, that stunning look. You know, it deviates away from the conventional, you know, as you really wouldn't get, you know, crossed legs, you know, on an everyday dining table chair. The chair's fabric has got a seamless feel to it, as opposed to, you know, having threading all over the place. And the lining behind each chair exudes quality in terms of the way the fabric was attached together, you know, meshed or sealed off against each other here. It is really a masterpiece in terms of its finishing, okay? But, as some would argue, you know, preference is subjective and beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. So, you don't have to take my word for it. Tailor your purchase bespoke to your requirements, okay? Also, click on the link in the description for tips on how to assemble your Ottoman bed, clean your leather seat furniture, and how to paint your focal and room walls, okay? And so basically, I'm going to close this off by giving you a panoramic view of the assembled dining table chair set, which aesthetically looks grandiose and resplendent. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Helps the channel grow and hopefully catch up with you later. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.